the markets are said to be in contango when the futures prices are above the spot prices that is current futures price of one month or two months is above the spot price and that is because the convenience yield is little or no zero and in that case the commodity forward curve is an upward sloping curve futures prices is above the spot price so the curve is moving sloping upwards where now here the long hedgers that is the actual users of the commodity will bid up the price of the commodity futures by paying premium for the hedging benefit that they get by taking a long futures position they would want the futures prices to be higher and hence they will buy a lot of commodity future positions and that's where the market is called in contango and opposite of that is the backwardation markets where the futures prices are lower or below the spot price here there is in fact high convenience yield and the commodity forward curve is a downward sloping curve here the dominant traders in the commodity futures are the producers who are hedging their exposure to unexpected price declines where i am a manufacturer of that of a particular product and I'm using a raw material which is a commodity which is experiencing high fluctuations I'll try to hedge my exposure against the unexpected price declines of that commodity so for example I am a miner uh, of coal and I want to protect myself from unexpected price declines of the coal I'll enter into commodity futures and hedge my exposure so most of the times producers enter into the hedging contracts for unexpected price declines so historically backwardation has been a typical situation and is sometimes also referred to as a normal backwardation uh, you can very well expect an exam question on these two topics that is what contango and backwardation they are very very important from a fundamental point of view so please pay high attention and understand them very clearly and practice on that also the key sources of risk and return in uh, commodity investing is that the long exposure to a commodity price can be achieved via derivative instrument or investment in forwards and futures and because some physical commodities cannot be effectively purchased or stored for a longer term and for other commodities like precious metals derivatives may be a more efficient way or means of gaining a long term exposure rather than purchasing the commodities outright and storing them for long term so the risk is what you're taking is the entering into a commodity derivative contract in the form of forwards or futures that is to avoid the risk of storing that commodity for long term in your possession now let's understand what is a collateralized commodity futures the collateralized commodity futures is entering into a futures contract and at the same time buying a T bill value equal to the contract value which will serve as a collateral for that futures contract. Now most of the futures contract require the buyer to put in some margin or a collateral to honor the contract. So most of the times T bills are accepted as a collateral. So ultimately your investment is buying the T bill equal to the contract value. So the holding period returns are the T bill percentage returns that is the yield on the T bill plus the futures percentage return that is a change in the contract value over time. So these are the holding period returns of a collateralized commodity futures contract. And the returns now as we understood on a commodity investment will be the collateral yield which we just saw that is the return on the collateral or the T bill that you posted to satisfy the margin requirements of the exchange while entering into futures contract plus the price return that is the gain or loss due to the changes in the spot prices and the roll yield very very important here that is the gain or loss that is resulting from re-establishing positions as the contracts expire when you roll over the contract you are squaring off the old contract and taking a fresh position at the new prices so that roll yield is the gain or loss resulting from this re-establishment of positions at the contract expiry the 
the roll yield will be positive if the futures market is in backwardation that is when futures prices are below the spot price and the roll yield will be negative if the market is in contango that is why futures prices are above the spot prices very very important please remember these relationship between the rule yield and the situation of the markets whether they are in contango or backwardation so commodity index investing is also an active strategy it is considered an active investment because the manager will have to decide the manager of the strategy will have to decide which maturities of the contracts to use and also decide when to roll them over into new contracts and that is the timing call also the active management requires to manage the portfolio weights actively to match those of the benchmark index it is tracking and hence it is up to the fund managers best choice of securities also to post as collaterals for these positions and which collaterals to give what is the interest rates on them how to optimize the return for the investor and how this could be rolled over as they approach maturity so this commodity investing is in fact in a very active strategy where a lot depends on the fund manager and hence the investor has to choose this carefully